Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Here we have the sixth generation iPod Touch. Some big changes besides the obvious. You've got a stunning new color lineup, including you've got space gray, gold, and silver, which we see on their iPads and their new 12-inch MacBook. So it's kind of the theme across all the categories. And they've revised the pink and the blue. So we've got stunning new colors, but on the inside, we have a much more powerful iPod Touch. The sixth generation has upgraded the 5 megapixel to an 8 megapixel camera. And because it has went from an A5 processor to the A8 with the M8 coprocessor, now we're going to see more functions for like the camera. The ability to finally shoot super slow mode at 120 frames per second. You've also got burst modes on the FaceTime front camera and the iSight camera. So major updates to the camera for anyone that's using their iPod touches as a means of recording video using iMovie for editing and kicking out some front, front projects or just taking your pictures and using the iCloud photo library and such. Outside of the camera update and the processor, those are your big ones. On the body, you're also going to notice the, at the bottom, there used to be a, a little piece that you'd press to pop open so I could put the loop on, which was like a, just a way to kind of hang on to your iPod. Eliminated, it is off the back of the, the iPod. So right now, that is no longer an option. They've got the new updated processor. We've got the better camera. Those are the big differences. They upgraded Bluetooth just a hair, so it's a better uh, lower, it's a 4.1, it's a little more efficient. and they've added AC networking so if you have a, a nice new Airport Extreme base station or any 802.11 AC router then you're going to be able to connect at higher speeds. App.com has a great variety of iPods, Apple products, we're authorized and we'd love to hear some comments. Do you think the 6th gen is going to be the new iPod in your house?